<sighs> Took a breather. Now we're back at it. The start of the NHL season begins this Sunday at 3 o'clock on NBC. As the NHL Draft 2013 gets underway in New Jersey. I love you guys and welcome into this special edition of All Andy Offer, the NHL Draft Edition of All Andy Offer right here on Clayfan 2. Three. I am your hosting Andy Elfer, welcoming you into this special edition of the NHL Draft Show. This is the preview show, who I think is going to go in, in the top ten, and also the key selections this year for uh, the Blue Jackets and for the Red Wings this year, and my expectations in the NHL Draft for the Jackets this year as well, too. Now, after I'm looking at players now that are two-way players, that can play offense and defense really well, too. We are all looking for the next Alex Ovechkin. We are all looking for the next Sidney Crosby. We're also looking for the next Jerome McGinley that is the durable player. Now, however, this draft has those type of players, but will it get picked up? Will they get picked up? It's the biggest question of them all. It's going to be very interesting to see who is going to be picked by who. Now, I know who's going to be going number one overall by the, by the Colorado Avalanche. It'll be Nate McClough. He's a McKinnon, excuse me, Nathan. Nate McKinnon. He is a kid for, who is a center. Very good center out of out of the uh, the WHL. Very good player. He's a good two-way player. Florida, I think it's going to be picking Seth Jones. I don't think Alexander Barksoff is going to be picked second overall. A lot of people are picking him second. I don't think so. The defense, Florida needs defense. Defense is key for Florida. Seth Jones is a perfect example of that. I think Tampa Bay will pick Alexander Barkov in the center position. I think I have, for Nashville, picking number four overall, I think I have Jonathan Durant, a left winger. He's got very good offensive skills. He's got very good key assets to the to the full of everything. Top five, here's number five for you. It is the Carolina Hurricanes. I think it will be Varanoff, Nikha, I can't pronounce a lot of these names, but I think it'll be Val Valer Nikrasov from Russia, left winger, very good player, good two-way player. He can get the puck, he can get into the slot and take a shot. He's got a very powerful shot from the point, to say the least. Also, he can get, he can cause traffic in the middle of the net. So I'd like to see him go to Carolina, Calgary. I think it'll be Sean Moran, centerman, and I think Calgary is going to be very key this year, I mean, with the loss of McGinley and Marasa Tange also, I think this is going to be the year for them to start to rebuild. I have Edmonton in seventh seventh position. They have the seventh pick. I think they'll pick Daryl Nurse, defense player, very good defensive player, and I think uh, he'll be very interesting, to say the least. Buffalo picks eighth. I think I got Ryan Pollock as another defenseman. This is going to be a defense-heavy draft this year, I believe, in the NHL. With at least three out of three picks in the first round, first top ten rounds, ten, first top ten picks will be defensemen this year. Uh, ninth, it's New Jersey making their pick. They'll have Bo Har Harvath, Hovath, Horvath. He's a centerman, very good player. Reminds me a little bit of a Scott C Stevens kind of a player. Very key Ell Ellisons. And Dallas will pick tenth, and I think it'll be Ellis Lindstrom, who is a centerman. Very good center person, you know. You need uh, you need a good centerman, especially rebuilding that organization in Dallas. Now, looking at this, this is going to be very. Those are my top ten. Looking at other key picks, uh, I think Winnipeg is going to pick Max Domi. I say that because he's a very good player, very very good. If if Columbus was thirteenth, I would have picked Max. Very good player, very solid two way player to say the least. Now. 14th is Columbus. Okay. This is what Columbus needs this year in the draft. They need two left wingers, one that can play on the first line and one that can play on the third line. A centerman that can play on the second line. They need three defensemen, two goalies, and they need a right winger on the fourth line. For Detroit, Detroit needs a third and fourth, fourth left winger. They need a second line center. At right wing, they need a first and a third line, third a uh, right right winger. On defense, they need four defensemen and they need two goalies. Chicago needs 
at least two left wingers, two solid defensemen, and one goalie. That's where I think in those three teams. This is the, in that market right now. I think Columbus will pick Ryan Hartman. Right winger. That fills the void for that fourth line as a right winger. I think it's a good decision for if uh, for um, you know to get that, um, especially him. Uh, the NHL posted something yesterday on the, their top what they feel, and this is what they had to say: First year Blue Jacket general manager Nero Kurlan uh, is in good shape for entering. I'm sorry if I butchered the names. I'm sorry, is in good shape to enter this first this first entering his first year with the draft. With the Columbus Blue Jackets, with three first one over, first round overall picks, number fourteen, number nineteen, and number twenty seven, and four picks in the top forty four, as Karen told NHL.com at the scouting combine, he's ready for all possibilities. "Quote: This is him. We are going to keep our options open, and we are going to be, going to be open for talks." He said, "I have expressed the willingness to move one of those picks." If we could get some help from other teams, we might have we might be looking to move up or back, but it all comes down to what is available at the time our pick comes up. For the Red Wings, this is what they had to say too. The Red Wings have just have one pick in each round, starting as the number one eighteen pick. They have an influx of young forwards that stepped up this season, including Gustav Nyquist and uh, and Erickson for a few on the way with a few on the way defensive depths could be an area of interest for the wings but the wings could settle for what they believe in is the best player available regardless of any positions like I said the Jackets need a pick I think they'll pick four they'll pick either Ryan Hartman a lot of people are picking Ryan Bullock Pollock defenseman that would be a good pickup too if he's available at the time too but I have him also I have him going eighth overall to the Buffalo Sabres Hartman I believe is a good right winger he is solid at he's solid at right wing he can put the puck into the net he can also cause a lot of traffic in front of the net as well too uh, Detroit picks 18th I think they're gonna pick Frederick Cauldron he's a two-way player centerman good Good player, good solid player. I believe he'll he'll do very very well in the Red Wing organization. Either that or I have Robert Hogg, a defenseman. Detroit needs defensemen really bad with the absence of Lidstrom and also from uh, the removal of Thomas Holmstrom to say the least. Damian Bruner is not going to be the the savior for the Red Wings this next upcoming season, especially with them going to the Eastern Conference. The same with the Blue Jackets, too. They are all going to the Eastern Conference. Uh, 19th overall, right after the Red Wings pick, it will be another pick by the Columbus Blue Jackets. I think it will be uh, Marco Muller, defenseman. I believe he is a very good defenseman. He reminds me of a little bit of an Adam Foote. He is a very good, solid player. He's not the arrogance of Adam Foote, but he's solid at defense. I believe he'll go. He'll go 19 overall. Either that, or I think Adam Ernie will go left wing, and that would resolve some of the issues at left wing for the Jackets. The Jackets need left wingers. We need them really bad after the loss of Rick Nash from last season. Left wing is a key asset, and then the Blue Jackets will pick and at the end of the first round. They will pick Morgan Kumchuk, left winger again. Need more left wingers. Very key assets. Uh, the Blue Jackets are having a party at Nationwide Arena tomorrow afternoon at, starting at 2.30. Jack Johnson, Jared Bull, and the Vesna Trophy will all be in-house at Nationwide Arena. They'll have a Bows house. You can get, you get information about tickets and everything else. So go down to Nationwide Arena starting tomorrow at 2.30. I unfortunately won't be in attendance. I live here in Toledo, so fortunately I will not be there in attendance. But this is the wrap-up of... The NHL preview. Enjoy the draft tomorrow. It's the start of the NHL season starting up tomorrow at 2.30 for the 2013-2014 NHL season. Hope you enjoyed this nice little break that we had for the last five days. We're getting right back into it starting tomorrow in the NHL draft. I hope you tune around to watch more of all the Andy Elford episodes. We'll have our post-draft show on Monday celebrating Canada Day as well too. So stick around for that. I'm Andy Elford, and I hope you enjoyed this program. Go Jackets, go go Red Wings, and let's go NHL. Let's start the season right now. I am Andy Elford. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you 
on Monday.